The days can sometimes be unpleasantly wet and cold here in winter in the Hell Valley of the Snow Monkeys. It is quite convenient for us that the Japanese have a great passion for hot baths. In some places in the valley they have built basins like this one, and collect hot water that erupts from the thermal springs. Behind me on the rocky slope, hot water gushes out and is piped into the basin. Here at the inlet, it's not exactly advisable to put your feet in. The water is about 60 degrees and only cools down in the basin to a more or less bearable temperature. However, this free energy has the disadvantage that the smell of rotten eggs hangs over the whole valley. The monkeys use the hot water pipe of the Japanese as a bridge. The plastic pipe is slippery. With clammy fingers, the snow monkeys balance across the river. The frozen gang of monkeys crouches indecisively around the basin in which the hot volcanic water bubbles and steams. A younger monkey warms his paws and then goes all the way in. We can hardly believe our rise. The next monkey climbs slowly and with relish into the hot basin. That feels good after a freezing cold night. In 1962, the snow monkeys discovered the benefits of a hot bath for the first time. However, they abused the pool of the nearby hotel which caused trouble with the bathers until the monkeys were built their own swimming pool a few years later. Peace was restored. Both the Japanese and the smart monkeys can now indulge their passion undisturbed. That's hot. The monkey seems to be new among the bathers. It hobbles along on three legs. The hot sulfur water doesn't taste good. The monkey still has to learn that too. You can see from the monkey's face that it doesn't quite understand the wonders of this world. It only sees the other monkeys bathing, and the desire to imitate them is great. Swimming is not yet a strength, but a real monkey will certainly not give up so quickly. The swimming style leaves something to be desired. Short of breath, the monkey seeks a foothold. His stamina is admirable, but it is difficult to tell whether he is practicing swimming or diving. The experienced guests of the monkey bath sit in the water for hours on some days enjoying the warmth, relaxing, and grooming their fur in peace. Taking a bath in hot water was the invention of some young monkeys in the group years ago. Over time, the older animals adopted the new fashion from the youth. Meanwhile, all members of the group occasionally go for a bath but there are some fanatics among them who enjoy the pleasant warmth especially often and for a long time. A commonly known behavior of monkeys is social grooming. The snow monkeys in Hell Valley perform the social body care on their neighbors calmly and with much care in the hot spring. 
The thick fur is combed through. The hot sulfur water reaches the skin. Animals of lower rank lavishly groom those of higher rank, while those of equal rank show their sympathy by grooming each other. Like the pages of a book, the hair is turned over layer by layer. Mutual grooming not only strengthens the bond of the group, but also has the side effect of grooming parts of the body that are hard to reach. Among the bathers we discover the most diverse characters. As different as their faces are, you can see serenity and enjoyment in all of them. He has sporty ambitions. What he brings up from the bottom of the pool cannot be seen, but it seems to be edible. Diving is a skill that snow monkeys do not need in normal life. That they learn it anyway and do it for no compelling reason shows us their willingness to explore new things that are not necessarily beneficial or important for the survival of the species. A wet monkey is no beauty. The things that monkeys have to do after bathing when they are soaked to the skin is surprisingly quite little. A few shakes and most of the water splashes out of the fur. Here you can see it quite clearly. In the fine wool hairs of the snow monkeys water cannot hold on well. It drips and runs out of the fur surprisingly quickly. The animals, soaked to the skin, would certainly have great difficulty with the cold now, as the fur has no insulating effect. However, due to the long bath in hot water the monkey's body is strongly heated up, so that the animals do not feel the cold. Similar to humans after visiting the sauna, the monkeys can stay in the cold for a long time without freezing. At least the heat stored in the body lasts until the monkey's fur has dried. The snow monkeys of the Hell Valley give us a satisfied impression, despite the winter cold. Thanks to strict nature conservation laws, their survival in the Japanese mountain forests seems assured.